Hello everyone! Welcome to this tutorial. The aim of this video is to show you how you can authenticate on the Wallex Bastion using RSA Secure ID tokens. Wallex Admin Bastion Suite already supports this process, and it has for quite some time actually now, but the solutions just received the label RSA ready, so we thought it useful to show you exactly the steps that you need to go through to do that. If you go to the Alliance Partner section of our website, www.wallex.com, and then to the Web App section, you'll find a document explaining in details the necessary steps you have to go through to set up the Bastion with RSA Authentication Manager. Once you've done that, you can connect to the Bastion's web GUI. Let's take a look at an example where a user has to define his or her PIN code during the authentication phase. After you've used the token code to authenticate, the system will ask you to determine a PIN code and then to validate it. Then, you need to wait for the token code to change, insert your PIN code, and then insert the token code you need to connect to the solution. Obviously, you won't have to determine a new PIN code every time you want to connect to the solution in the future. This is a one-time manipulation only. One of the strengths of the Wallex Admin Bastion Suite is that it can manage strong authentication mechanisms through connections using SSH or RDP. If we take the example of an SSH connection, if a user uses a native tool to connect, such as PuTTY for example, the Bastion's proxy will take over the authentication sequence before giving them access to the target system or server. Now, if we look at how this works with Microsoft's RDP, here's what it will look like. And here you are. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it.